What's up guys, it's Paul from Ecommerce Gold and I'm back with another quick Shopify tutorial for you. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can add related collections to your collections pages. Now, if you're not sure what I mean by this, on screen, we're showing one of the collections, which is the automatic watches, but at the bottom, I've added links to related collections. So we've got links to the digital watches and quartz watches as well. And this is a really great way of adding additional navigation options to your store, which improves the user experience, which can obviously lead to more sales. But how do you actually go about doing this? Well, the process is really quite simple. And to do it, what you wanna do is go into your Shopify dashboard, go into your online store and themes, and click on Customize. This opens up the Shopify Customizer. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the drop-down menu at the top, we're gonna click on Collections, and we're gonna click Create Template. Now, when you're naming this template, it can be useful to name it the same way as the collection that you're going to use it on. Because for every collection you want to add these related collections to, you need to create a template for that. So for this, we're going to call this Watches. And the reason why you do this is it just makes a future step a lot easier to do. And we're going to create the template based off the default collection. It'll take a couple of seconds to create this template. And as you can see, we've got the template based on our default collection. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a section to this and I'm going to add the collection list section. And this adds this option at the bottom. And with this, what you can do, you can come in and you can rename it if you want. So if you want to call it related collections, you can do whatever you want to call it. You just change the name in the heading section. You can also change the heading size and things like that. So you can change it to small if we want to, the image ratio and things like that. But you can go and check those out for yourself. And then all you want to do is add the collections that you want. So for this, I'm going to select all my watch collections. So I'm going to add the automatic watches one. Click on select at the bottom. Go back and just do this for every collection you want to add to this template. So we'll do the digital watches one. And finally, we will add the quartz watches one as well. Simply do that, add the collections you want, make sure they're all set up properly. And once you're happy with it, click save. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna come out of the theme customizer. We're gonna go into products, into collections, and whichever collection you want to add this template to, simply click on it. So we're gonna add this to watches. And you'll see there's an option under the online store for the theme template. And for this, we're gonna select watches. And this is why it's good to name the template that you've created in a similar way to the collection you want to add it to because it just makes it easier to line the two up. Click on save and then it's added that template to this collection. So then if we go into our online store or close this one, and open up a new one, because it does take a couple of seconds for this to populate on the front end of your store. And if we click on watches, this option should be available. So as you can see, we've got our main watches collection with all the watch listings. And then at the bottom, we've got our related collections, which are the automatic ones, the ones that we added when we set up the template. Now you can do this in two ways. So you can have related collections. So I could also have had this, so it'd be like um, watch cases, watch accessories and things like that. So they are related collections. Or you could almost have this like it's a sub collection set up in a similar way as I've got this one. So you've got the main watches collection, then underneath you'd have like the secondary or sub collections, which are more specialized with the automatic digital and quartz watches. So there's a bit of flexibility when you set this up. And as I say, you can just make navigation a lot easier for your customers that potentially could lead to more online sales so if this video was helpful if you could drop a like on it that would be absolutely awesome and i'll see you in the next one